Hi there, I hope you guys are doing great. I am Animesh and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see how we can one hot encode our categorical data and we will see two ways in doing so. We will also do hands on using Python. So let's get started. So one hot encoding is basically when we have a categorical data for example in this case it is embarked q s q and there is one more unique value c so what it will do is it will create a column for each unique value in the categorical data and it will give a number one if that value exists and it will give value zero if it does not exist so this way it will do one hot encoding of one categorical column into number of unique categories in that column so there are various ways of doing it we can do it using the packages that are available in pandas and scikit-learn but we can create our own custom one hot encoder also for which i have created a video that was asked to me in interview so you can check that video later on also but in this video we are going to see the automated way that is the packages that are available to us so the first way of doing so is using get dummies this function is a pandas library function and then there is another way which is scikit-learn one hot encoder function now i would recommend this to be used not because this is widely used in the industry but there are various advantages which i will be discussing when we are going to do the hands-on so let's move to the jupyter notebook and let's get started on the hands-on using python so so first of all i have imported basic libraries pandas and numpy and i have imported the titanic data set so in this data set we are going to use the embarked column which is a categorical column and we are going to do the one hot encoding on this particular column so i'm just uh, dropping certain columns that are not for our use and by looking at the data types we see that embarked is a categorical column so let's just do the one hot encoding so first we will do using the get dummies which is a very quick way of doing it here what i am going to do is pandas pd dot get dummies so simply i am just using the get dummies function and in the arguments i am just passing the data frame comma and the columns that i want to one hot encode so if i want to one hot encode multiple columns i can send a list to it but here as we discussed we just want to one hot encode embarked column and let's just print our results so i'm going to execute this so as we see it got one hot encoded into three columns because there are three unique categorical values so that's why it got one hot encoded into three columns but as i said this is not recommended when you are creating a real-time machine learning project for inferencing be it a batch inferencing be it an endpoint inferencing because we do not have a vectorized form of it we cannot do the transform we can unless we are sure that there will be no other unique categorical values or there will be no any values data will be clean in that scenario we can go ahead with this but still this should be used with caution while inferencing so what other alternative we have is a very good package of sklearn learn pre-processing and we can import the one hot encoder class of it so we are going to just execute this particular library and then let's just give the name of the categorical columns that we want to one hot encode so we just want to one hot encode only one column that is embarked so i'm just going to execute this now let's just call the one hot encoder class i'm parsing two uh, arguments here one is sparse is false because i do not want a uh, sparse matrix to be returned as the output and i will pass handle unknown as ignore this is a very important argument because if 
there are values in the batch data or say inference data or the test data there are certain categorical unique values which are not there in the training data in which this one hot encoder was trained or fit then it will throw an error okay by default it will throw an error but i am just passing an argument ignore if at all there are values which are not seen earlier by the encoder vectorizer or this class then it will mark it as zero okay and if i do inverse transform then it will mark it as none so we will look that in the documentation but for now let's just move further so now i am going to call this encoder that we just instantiated and i'm going to do the fit transform so we can do fit and then transform individually but here i am doing fit transform and in the arguments i am just passing the data or the column that i want to one hot encode so let's just execute this and i have executed it and let's just check what are the encoder categories so we can use this categories underscore function and we see that it has an array of three unique values so these are the categories that it has one hot encoded it has seen in this data and now what we are going to do is we are just going to create a panda data frame with the one hot encoded data okay which is nothing uh, an, a numpy array and now we are transforming it into a data frame uh, if you want to look at it we can just check it also let's just see few of the top rows using head and we see that it has one hot encoded one column into three columns because it has three unique values and it has given number zero one zero so one if the value exists and zero if it does not exist like that and now we have to concatenate this particular data frame with the original data frame also then only we will be able to do the further analysis okay so what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to just concatenate with access one because we are doing the column wise concatenation with one hot df and the df data and now let's just execute and we see that this data has been concatenated so so apart from this there is one very good use for one hot encoder class is that that i can save it as a featureizer or a vectorizer in a pickle format we can use any other format but for example i have taken pickle and then we can reuse it at any number of time and it will do the exact transformation like it did for the in the similar way it did for the training data so this way there will be a consistency in our featureization okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use the pickle class and then i'm going to save it in my directory anywhere you can just mention a path to the directory with write binary open that we dump this particular encoder which was already trained in the training data and we are just saving it in the output this file and then i am just going to close it if i execute it this particular vectorizer of one hot encoder will be saved in a pickle format in the respective directory and then when i want to reuse it or reuse it i can just load this and call this particular file and then i am going to you reuse it as many number of times as i want. so this is something nobody is going to tell you in any of the videos in youtube or anywhere because this is something which is very practical and i am using it in my projects in my data science and machine learning projects which i am deploying in production and this is how it is done actually so you should uh, be aware of this so that is my goal not only teaching you the things which are very theoretical but practically this is how it is done but i wanted to tell you a few more things 
one that one hot encoder should be used only when the number of unique values in your categorical variable are less if it's say for example in hundreds or thousand you should be careful while using it because it will expand your data column wise okay so this way uh, there can be issues while training the data okay and also one more important thing is that you should always tackle the missing values the any values in your data before you use any of the transformations be it one hot encoder or lib now we are at the documentation of scikit-learn one hot encoder class we see there are various arguments that we can pass so like we saw the categories auto so by default it is auto that means it will automatically determine the categories which we did not pass in our demo now coming to drop this also is an optional function uh, parameter that we can pass because uh, it is by default none it is used only in case there is collinearity exist amongst the feature that can cause problem but this can be used if you want then coming to sparse hour but we use this and we give it false because otherwise it will return a sparse matrix which we did not want it in our case then coming to the data type data type you can mention by default it is numpy float which we could have passed integer if you wanted then the most important argument is handle unknown which we passed as ignore okay by default it is throwing an error if it sees an unseen value in the categorical data okay and we can pass infrequent if exist okay and then there is minimum frequency we can set a frequency that uh, below which it will be considered as infrequent okay and similarly we can pass the maximum categories that we want to one hot encode we can pass that number so here all these uh, are the arguments that you can check it out in the documentation and one more thing i wanted to tell you say one is that fit that you can use first fit and then you can do transform but you can directly do fit transform also uh, i would suggest when you are preparing any pipeline you should do first fit and then do the transform so these things i'm telling you because i have learned it the hard way and i don't want you to do those mistakes and you can right away do the practical things the data science so that's all in this video i hope you guys like this video please do subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye